Cropping is one of the most basic adjustments you can make to your images. And while it's always best to get your compositions as perfect as possible at the point of shooting to reduce the need to ever crop, there are many reasons why you may need to crop your images once you get them onto your computer. And it makes sense to perform any cropping in Lightroom while you're processing your RAW files. So Lightroom's crop tool is accessed by clicking on this icon here, or you can hit R on the keyboard and that brings up all of the crop controls. And by default, the aspect ratio is normally set to original. And if you click on this drop down menu here, you'll see that there are several different options. So you can go to as shot, which is the same as original. You can create custom ratios, or there are some presets that are already dialed in here. And then to crop, all we need to do is left mouse click and drag the guide around and then we can move it just by dragging within. It's so simple to crop and if you're not happy with what you've done with the cropping there we can just hit reset and it takes us back to the beginning. And if I just click on that lock icon that allows me to crop freely so I can crop any way that I want to. So I'm just going to click back on there. So as you'll see here, the crop tool overlay doesn't have any kind of guide in it. So down here you'll see it says crop overlay and it's currently set to never and there are three options here. We have auto. So once you left mouse click and drag, it gives you a guide. So that's whichever guide you've chosen to apply. But for me, it makes much more sense to have it set to always. So here I can see that the horizon isn't quite on that top third line. So I can just drag that down and get that exactly where I want it to be. And also within the crop tool, we have another really useful tool and that's the angle tool. So this is where if you've taken a shot and the horizon isn't straight, you can straighten it really easily. So there are three ways that you can work with this. You can click on auto and as you'll see there, it's made a complete mess of things. So auto isn't really the best option. So I'm just going to hold down control and Z to go back or that would be command and Z on a Mac. We also have this slider here so we can rotate it either way. And the best way of straightening horizons is by clicking on the angle tool itself and then you can just drag out a line along the horizon and it will straighten it up for you. So that has actually not worked there because the horizon is actually straight. And if I just drag it along the groin there, you'll see what it does. So that is the best way to straighten horizons using the crop tool. But going back to the tool overlay, there are several options here so you don't have to stick to the rule of thirds or a grid and if you just go to tools crop guide overlay you'll see we have grid thirds which is the one we're using now diagonal center triangle golden ratio golden spiral and aspect ratios but there is a much better way of cycling through those different overlays and that's by using the shortcut O while the crop tool is active. So each time we press O we can bring up a different crop overlay. So this one here is more about showing how the image will be cropped when you're making prints. So if you're going to make a 4x5 print or a 5x7 you can see exactly how it's going to be cropped. And another interesting thing that we can do here is by holding down Shift and O, we can actually change the orientation of different guides. So this one's not going to make a difference. This one's not. So if we go here, Shift and O, we can change the layout. And let's go to the golden ratio. And you can just move it around so it fits the image and the composition that you're currently working with. So you're not stuck with what you're given. But for me, the rule of thirds is usually the most useful option. So let's just complete this crop, make sure everything's where it needs to be. So once you're happy with everything you've done, just hit enter on the keyboard and the crop will be made. 
So then once you close down the crop tool, you'll see all of the normal adjustments again. And if you need to go back in, just click on to the crop tool icon or use the shortcut R and that brings up the overlay so you can see what you've done and you can apply any changes as well. Now, just before we finish, there's one more thing that we can look at. And as you'll see there, I've brought the guide down to the bottom and I've made it landscape. It's not very often that you're going to be cropping a portrait image to landscape or vice versa. But if you ever need to, the option is there if you need it. So that is the crop tool in Lightroom.